Well, joining me now is Chris Price, who is the chief executive of the charity PECAN, which hosts Southwark Food Bank in London. Good to have you with us today, Chris. So do you believe that UNICEF's move to feed children in the UK is a political stunt or a necessary move? It, it's not a political stunt. It's about helping to look after the well-being of some of the most deprived households in, in the country at the moment. We've seen um, an awful lot of increase in the number of families coming through to us since the pandemic. We've seen an, a rise of 460% in the um, children that we've been feeding ourselves. So for other charities to come in and to provide the support as well just shows the absolute need for this service. This is about wellbeing. It's not about politics. And you operate in London. Just how bad is the situation that you see on a daily basis? We have you know, seen our, our service as Southwark Food Bank. We've been running as part of the Trussell Trust for 10 years now. Last year was our busiest year to date. We saw an increase there. This year, in the first six months of the year, we saw four times as many people as we had done in the previous year. So we know the situation is, is worse for people. A lot of people have lost their jobs in London. A lot of people on low incomes work in the service industry, and the service industry was put on furlough. People were made redundant during that time. And suddenly, people just didn't have money. They didn't have the money to get by. So we've had to step in. The council has stepped in. Other organisations have stepped in to support people over this time. Only today, we were handing um, people um, bags for Christmas, and we were giving people a voucher to shop at a, a supermarket as well. So they had the dignity of choosing their own food. And the number of people who just broke down in tears because of the way they were treated and telling us the stories of um, how they struggled over this time of trying to look after the children when they're at home. And when children are at home, they eat more food. And the price of food in our shops has gone up over this period. So people are struggling even more. How have we got to the point where one of the richest nations in the world is experiencing poverty to a level that needs help from an outside agency? I, I don't know from that. You know, I, I've seen this rise over the last 10 years and the number of people who are coming through to us. And as part of um, the network of Trussell Trust food banks, what we are trying to do is look at how we can be a future where there is not a need for a food bank. So it's looking at the root causes of it. Handing out food only deals with people when they are hungry. But we have to look um, further up the line and think, why is this happening? And how do we support people to ensure that they are getting the right money coming through? Even when people are working, they are not getting the right money coming through. We've seen people's hours cut. And what people don't have is this real base level of income that means that they can be secure in the funding they're getting coming through to their own personal houses and then they can build their resilience on top of that but when the first thing you're worrying about is the amount of food that you have or en having any food available then you're not able to build that resilience to look at well how do i make sure i've got enough money coming for the next few days and the next few days after that and be able to really build their own personal resilience and their personal well-being. This is all about how do we ensure that people are safe. And is there a you know, we're Sorry, really I didn't mean to... happy that UNICEF are funding it for that. I wonder, though, if there is a concern that by funding uh, people here in the UK, people in other nations, perhaps poorer nations, are then going to miss out on that money that's given to children here. I think the question should be a lot more about how come Britain is in a position where it meets UNICEF's criteria for being a poor nation? OK, Chris Price from the charity PECAN, thanks very much indeed for joining us on the News Hour.